Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Now one of the Pharisees was requesting him to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And there was a woman in the city who was a sinner. And when she learned that she was... And when she learned that he was reclining at the table in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster vinyl of, vial of perfume, and standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wipe his feet with her tears and kept wiping them with the hair of her head and kissing his feet and anointing them with the perfume. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man... Were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of person this woman is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. And Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he replied, Say it, teacher. A money lender had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they were unable to repay, he graciously forgave them both. So which, so which of them will love him more? Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, you have judged correctly. Turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me water. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but she, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with perfume. For this reason I say to you, her sins, which are many, have been forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little loves little. Then he said to her, your sins have been forgiven. Those who were reclining at the table with him began to say to themselves, Who is this man who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. And wow, the Lord really kept bringing to my attention and really kept bringing to my mind alabaster box. And then I was thinking of the scripture. And so the Lord really called me to make a message on this word. So I'm on here right now. But those of you that this word is for, other people are coming against you, and you have been doing the work. You have been doing what the Lord has been calling you to do, and people have been coming up against you, and people have been questioning you, and have been wondering, like, why are you doing this and this? But I feel like the Lord has been really coming to them and they're in judgment right now. And so the Lord's dealing with them right now. But he's also doing the same thing with those people that have been questioning what you're doing, that have been coming up against you. And he's doing the same thing that he had to do with Simon before he became to Peter. This was before he became to Peter at the time. And so... Okay. So the Lord has heard your tears. He's heard your cries. He's heard and he saw everything that happened. He has saw how you have stood out in your faith and you have not let other people get in between your relationship with God. You kept going. And he knows your heart. He, so God doesn't look at the outward appearance, but he looks at the heart. And so he knows your heart and he knows your intentions. And for that, because you've been obedient, because you kept doing what the Lord has been telling you to do, you have not let others get in the way or you have not listened to the people around you that have been trying to come against you in your purpose. And just know that you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded for the work that you're putting into now. And it may seem like it's 
not going to be anything, but trust me, the Lord's going to reward you for your faithfulness. He's going to reward you for how you've stood it out. And there are many times where you wanted to give up. There are many times where you, in fact, if this word is for you, there are many times where you felt drained, where you felt like you couldn't go on. And there are days where you just like were emotional. You didn't know why. And there were maybe some days where you felt mentally drained and you were wanting to throw in the towel. But instead of throwing in the towel, you kept going. You kept doing what the Lord was telling you to do. You kept being obedient, no matter how exhausting it got. And the Lord is saying that he's going to bless you and reward you for your faithfulness to him. For how you have stood it out. And what the enemy has been trying to keep from you, he has to release it in the name of Jesus. He has to release it and he has to pay back sevenfold in the name of Jesus. So you trust me, if it looks dead right now, just know and remember God is working behind the scenes and know and be reassured that he has not forgotten about you. Just trust in him during this time. It may not make sense right now, but it will later on. And then you'll look back and you'll have that moment when you get those blessings in your life, when those promises that the Lord has spoken over your life are fulfilled in your life once they come to pass. You'll look back and you're like, all that pain, all that preparation, all of that pruning, all of it made sense. I had to go through that in order to inherit my promise, in order to inherit that blessing that the Lord has spoken over my life. I had to go over that to be prepared, to be prepared for the real thing. Because once that does come to pass, that is when we're going to be ready. When that comes into our life, when that comes back to us, that's when we're ready for it. And we're ready to do what the Lord has been calling us to do this whole time. And, and so I just, just know he's being gracious to you in this hour. For those of you that, you know, you ran away from that promise and you're like, I'm sorry, Lord, I didn't mean to disobey you. I thought this was from the enemy. Just know that the Lord is being gracious to you. He hasn't forgotten about you and he's being gracious to you. He has already forgiven you. He calls us to forgive others 70 times, seven times. And so, and so, you know that God does forgive his children. He does forgive. Even when we don't feel like we deserve it, he still forgives us. And so, just know that even though you may have kept running away from that promise, and you finally come to realization that, this is from God. This, the Lord has been telling me this whole time. This is from God. That this is what the Lord wants me to do. This is the person that I'm supposed to be with. Or this is the ministry I'm supposed to be part of. Because maybe some of you were just really confused and you weren't really sure if to step into it because you weren't sure if you were just feeling those things for no reason at all. But God puts desires in your heart for a reason. He plans those desires in your heart for a reason. And that's because it's from him. It's from him. And that's how you're going to know it's from God. Because if you're having those own desires on your own, yes, those are from your flesh. But if God puts those desires in your heart, that's from him. And so it's so important that we're seeking him. We're going to him about these things. And we are asking him, is this from you? And we're not just going about it our own way. Because when you finally go to God about it, it makes him so happy when you go to him about these things. When you don't go about it your own way. And so, I don't know about you, but I might have to make a part two. Because the Lord's really speaking right now in this hour. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and make a part two. 